Nick Saban in his 13th ranked Alabama Crimson Tide welcomed his former offensive coordinator Lane Kiffin and their 15th ranked Ole Miss Rebels to Bryant Denny Stadium on Saturday afternoon. A slow first half from both teams as turnovers and stout defense kept both offenses in check in the first half. However, the Tide bounced back in the second half as they scored 11 points in the third quarter and seven in the fourth. But I also think that they need to learn about themselves in terms of having confidence and what they can do when they do things correctly and how important that is. Um, when they're physical, they compete in the game, they're relentless in their effort and how they you know, try to dominate their box and they play with more discipline and we don't have the negative plays that you know, we keep sort of shooting ourselves in the foot with too often. So we got to eliminate those and I think that every one of those are an opportunity to learn. Uh, you don't want to waste a failing. You've heard me say that many times before, and how you respond to those things I think are very important. Meanwhile, it was Jalen Milrow who got the start at the quarterback position on Saturday afternoon. He shook off an interception in the first half and bounced back nicely. He was 17 of 21 for 225 yards and a touchdown on Saturday afternoon. An impressive performance from the Tide today, and their goals are still ahead of them, but there is work to be done. This team is a work in progress. You know, we're going to continue to grow and allow us to acknowledge that we need, need, need more room to improve in. And I trust in the guys in the locker room. No, there's no one I do not trust. I trust the coaches going to put a great game plan together, offense, and defense, special teams. And we have a great team, and I love each one of those guys. The Tide are back in action next Saturday in Starkville for a matchup with the Mississippi State Bulldogs. In Tuscaloosa, I'm Patrick Talbot, WTOK News 11 Sports.